Hey there, welcome back to Twister Sister Studios. I'm Holly, the Twister Sister, and in this week I've got another Halloween themed cute, fast and simple balloon design to show you. Our design this week only takes three balloons, so it's perfect for line work. And it's also a fun one that I haven't done anything really like this before. So we're gonna do this little skeleton or skull guy. It's wearing a witch's hat and it's on top of a pumpkin. So you're kind of combining three different Halloween themed things all into one super cute, fast, easy design. So to make this, we're gonna need one orange 260 for the pumpkin, whatever color you want for the hat. Today I'll be doing this really pretty dark purple violet 260, but you could also do black or any color hat you want. And then for the white part of the skull, I'll be using a white five inch round today because that's what I have but if you have a white linking balloon, like a quick link, that would be even better. Um, I'm gonna show you how I'm going to do this and pull off this design without a linking balloon and just using a five inch white round. I know certain balloons can be hard to come by these days, so it's good to have options, right? So we're gonna start off with the skull portion of this balloon. So I'm gonna take my white five inch round and I'm gonna inflate it just about four to five, a little over five pumps. Okay, so it's not fully inflated, but it is starting to get that cone down here at the end at the bottom, okay? Now when I tie this, I want to try to get my knot out as close to the nozzle as possible so that we have some squish room here to um, increase our balloon size. <laughs> So the first thing we're gonna do with our little bowling pin here, we've got our balloon squished out to inflate the neck of our balloon. And we're gonna grab off a nice big chunk from that neck of the balloon, okay? So about a two, three inch bubble there, we're gonna make a simple twist. And we're gonna take the knot of our balloon, the knot and the nozzle. We're gonna bring that down into that twist and twist it around there as well. Okay, so we're making just like a big fat pinch twist, but that's gonna be kind of like the jaw part of our little skull face. Okay, so set that aside for a second. Uh, we need something to kind of keep that jaw facing forward how we need it to. So in comes our pumpkin. Grab yourself an orange 260, about six pumps in my dual action hand pump here, or a three inch tail about. I'm gonna let a little air out so it's not too tight and just tie that off like normal. I'm gonna start this pumpkin off though with a big fat pinch twist, okay? That's gonna stabilize our skull. So I'm gonna do a big round bubble here and then just bring that knot down into that twist. So we've got one little pinch twist on the back there. Now at this point, you can go ahead and attach the skull right to this pinch twist or you can make the whole pumpkin first whatever is easier for you. If you're a new twister, you might wanna make them separately and then bring them together, um, just so that the skull's not in your way while you're making the pumpkin. Uh, for ease of displaying what I'm doing here, I'm gonna go ahead and make this pumpkin and then we'll attach it to the skull. That way the skull is not um, in the way and in making things harder to see, okay? So we're just gonna do my basic pumpkin that I taught this year in the elegant pumpkin, but without the stem. So we're gonna do four bubbles for the main part of the pumpkin. All these bubbles are going to be the same size. And I'm just bringing them over top of each other so we don't have to do any roll throughs. If you want a detailed walkthrough of how to make this little simple pumpkin, make sure to check out the linked video for that elegant pumpkin tutorial where I explain it all a little more in depth go a little slower, make sure you get it all. Well, we're just gonna do a fast one here today. There's our little cute pumpkin, eight bubble pumpkin. So I'm gonna get rid of the rest of this now. We're gonna tuck that tail into our pumpkin to hide it out of sight, okay? Now we've got this big fat pinch twist on top of our pumpkin and we've got this big sort of pinch twist thing on our skull. So one way you could attach these, however you're comfortable, you could just twist it all together. Um, if you're not comfortable doing that, you can take out a nozzle here. So maybe your white nozzle or your orange nozzle and use that to tie things around to each other. So I'm just gonna twist these 
with one big hand movement. And what you want to get, what you want to end up happening is that the orange pinch twist is gonna be in the back of your skull, back here, and then it's gonna be pushing this part of your white balloon forward and up. And that is gonna make a nice little looking jaw for your skull. If you can see some of the creasing on top of your pinch twist here, go ahead and just manipulate that bottom part of the balloon. Uh, squish it up and forwards so that it's nice and smooth looking and you don't get any of that ear twist looking crinkles. <laughs> okay, so we have that. Now, this is good on its own. You can draw your little skull face on and call it a day, a skull on a pumpkin. It's a great little uh, design just like that. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and draw the face on it now so you can see what that would look like. So we start off with an upside down heart and the thing on this skull that I messed up on this guy over here is you wanna kinda of keep the face a little bit lower than you might normally think on a balloon because this is gonna be the jaw where the mouth goes and so you don't want the nose like way up here in the middle. So keep that nose down low and close to this part of your balloon, okay? And then the eyes, you can just do big round eye sockets. You can make them heart shaped. You can make this a sugar skull face. Whatever you wanna do, I'm gonna go kinda of simple for this one. So we've just got two circles and I'm gonna fill them in with the black. Okay, so I've got my two little circles there filled in. I did give him some little eyebrows just for some added extra character. And then you've got the mouth. So you can draw just a happy smiley face for the mouth if you don't want it to be that scary. You can do sort of like a wavy bottom line there um, like I did on that skull. And then you can also do a line with some um, vertical lines going through it. So we're gonna try it that way on this guy and see what that looks like. Okay, there we go. Looks pretty cute, I think. If you wanna put a face on your pumpkin as well, you totally can. Then you kinda of have a jack-o'-lantern with a skull on top and that would be kinda of cute too. But we're gonna put a witch hat on top of our skeleton to complete this design. But this is one that is fun to play around with and I'd really like to see pictures of your take of this design in our Facebook group this week. It's a free group that anybody can join on Facebook. And every week, um, people post pictures of the week's new balloon tutorial and they post their different version of the tutorial, change the colors, change it up a little bit. I love seeing everyone's creativity in there. So it's a great place to be just to get inspired by what other balloon artists are doing. And then it's also a fun place to share your work each week as you make these new tutorials. Okay, so for the hat, I again am using this dark purple. You could use black or any color you want. Um, I've left about a two to three inch tail on here. And to start off on this, I'm going to make a big fold at the tip of my balloon. Just fold that over and squeeze. Okay, so we got that. Now we're gonna come down just a little bit here and then I'm gonna do a small round bubble. We're gonna make this bubble a pinch twist. Now this is the point where if you were using a linking balloon that had a, connect, a connector point on top of this balloon here, you would attach your pinch twist that we just made to your link balloon at this step, okay? I obviously don't have a link balloon, so we're gonna keep going and just make the hat on its own and then we'll attach it when we're done. But if you have a link balloon, attach it now. Okay, and then we're gonna come out uh, just a small spacer bubble. And then one more small round bubble. We're gonna make this one a pinch twist. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap around this bottom that we made here for our hat. This is the bottom. We're gonna kind of wrap our remaining balloon all the way around and back into that last pinch twist that we made. Okay, so once you get back to that pinch twist, wrap it on in there. And you can see how that kind of makes a little bit of a hat. We're gonna give it one more wrap around to make a bigger brim for our hat. So squeeze your balloon out as you go and just wrap it nice and tight all the way around one more time and back into our pinch twist in the back of the hat here. Now you can see we have a cute little witch's hat. 
<laughs> um, we're done with the rest of this. You can get rid of the rest of your remaining balloon. Just secure that really well so it doesn't come undone. Tuck it in somewhere to lock it in place. Okay, so this is what we've got. If you've ever wanted to know how to make a little witch's hat, you could put this on a headband and ta-da, you're done. <laughs> I do have a video. One of my earlier videos was on this. Um, I think it used a 321 for this pointy tip part of the hat, but we don't have 321s for today because this is a simple, fast, easy design. I'm just going to cut off the nozzle of our hat here so that's not hanging off, looking silly. And now, how are we going to attach our little hat to our little skull? How are we going to get it on there? Let me show you a balloon twister secret. You glue dashes. I know purists hate this and that's okay because we are about making balloons for profit here at Twister Sister Studios. We're not trying to win the purist awards for only using balloons in all of our designs. I'm just kidding, but seriously, um, it is hard to find certain balloons these days. And so if you can't find a quick link and there's lots of other designs where you might not be able to find the exact balloon that you need to make the design the way you want to make it, get yourself a box of you glue dashes. You can get these on Amazon. I think Amazon prime deal day, whatever is coming up. So there might be a good time to get yourself a box. There is a thousand little you glue dashes in this box. So one box will last you a long time. This is, probably the best sticky glue dot thing you can use on latex balloons. It works like a treat. So if you can't find the exact balloons you need, sometimes balloon artists need a little help. And so that's what these are great for. So like today, we're gonna be attaching our witch's hat to our skull with some simple you glue dashes. So they just stick right onto your balloon. I'm just gonna place a few of them in different places where I want the balloon to kind of hit on the top of the head. And we'll get that uh, outer rim a little bit too. You don't have to use this many. I just really like <laughs> using you glue dashes. They're one of my favorite little secrets for working as a twister to make things that seem impossible possible. So the reason I, one of the reasons I love these U glue dashes is because on this paper that's on top of the little glue dot thing, um, there is an edge that is not covered in glue dot. And so it's really easy to pick up that uh, free edge and pull these off. So you're not trying to like separate the paper from the glue and getting frustrated like these are super fast to remove so if you do want to take a box of glue dashes with you to an event you know that it's going to be pretty easy and fast to remove the little paper bits on there okay now this is the only part where i need to be careful and look at what i'm actually doing here because i want to line everything up straight but basically we're just going to stick it on top of our skeleton's head and voila! So there we have our little skull wearing a witch's hat on top of a pumpkin. Perfect Halloween design encompassing a lot of different little fun themes. Um, you could even add a little band around the base of the hat if you wanted to do like a different colored ribbon or something around there to really make it look like a cute little witch's hat. One last thing I'm going to do to finish off this design is add some white details to the eyes. There we go. So that really kind of brings him back to life. And then this design, since it's on a roly poly pumpkin base, is a great one for going on a stick. So if you're making this one at a fair or festival, I would highly recommend just putting a little stick right up in the base of that pumpkin and then people can walk around holding this cute little guy. You could also put this pumpkin on maybe a green, uh, petal flower petal base and make it a great candy cup topper or a bracelet or a headband as well so then you've got like kind of stacks of things a fun halloween stack of characters super cute so it also kind of matches my little outfit as well <laughs> uh, which this print is available in the twister sister studios you probably won't get it before halloween this year but if you order it now You'll get it and you'll have it by this time next year for sure. <laughs> 
So that is today's tutorial. There's so many ways you can change up this design just by drawing different features on the face or adding little hearts and spider webs and dots and things. Make it a sugar skull. You can make it a girl. You can make it a boy. Add a bow on the headband. So many different ways you could change it up. So again, I can't wait to see your version of this design in our free Facebook group this week. The link to get in is down below this video. I do hope to see you there. Real quick, I just wanted to mention that today is the very first day that I've launched a brand new product in the Twister Sister Studio store. This is a product that I am uh, making and putting together myself here in the studio and I'm going to be shipping them out myself so no long wait to receive these in the mail. They'll be shipped from my studio here in Colorado Springs and it is these adorable brand new acrylic balloon dog charm necklaces. I am obsessed with how these turned out. They are so beautiful, so eye-catching when you wear them. It's the perfect accessory for a balloon artist. Wear it to your parties and your gigs. Wear it when you're running errands around town. Really get people noticing you, commenting, and give you an opportunity to hand out your business cards because people will want to ask you about this necklace because it is so unique, so colorful and eye-catching, and it's just really fun to wear. It complements a whole lot of outfits. Um, we may have more designs coming soon, but this was our first run. There's only 50 available. So if you wanna be one of the first ones to get one of these, you're gonna to have to hurry and run to the store. A few have already sold by the time I made this video. Um, so I just wanted to show this new product to you guys because I am really excited and really proud of this one since it is coming from my own hands right to yours and not from our overseas manufacturers. So this is a fun, new, exciting venture for me. So I hope that you guys like it as well. And I can't wait to hear your feedback once you guys start getting these in your hands. Is this is so cute. So please leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think of our tutorial this week. And I'll be looking forward to seeing what you want me to make you guys next week. Leave any suggestions that you have or things you want to see down in the comments as well. I do read all the comments. And make sure to subscribe so that you get notified when I put out a new video for you next Tuesday. Until then, happy twisting everyone. And I'll see you over in our free Facebook group. Bye-bye.